Okay, so this problem, you have fireflies emitting radiation, and we know it's from um, using ATP, and we want the number of molecules of ATP used. So let's write down the givens. Um, they're 90% efficient, so let's write that down. Lambda is equal to 590 nanometers, and... It's 0.5 eBV per molecule. So <clears throat> let's find out how many photons, um, how many energy, how much energy in each of these photons first <clears throat> to figure that out. And so we know E is equal to HC over lambda, and that's going to give it to us in joules. So we want to divide by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per EV um, to convert that into EV. So let's write this down. So we have 6.626 times 10 to the um, 3, actually. <clears throat> okay. Lambda is 590. Okay. So I get 2.1. 2.10, I guess 1.1, one, one, but you can just use one sig fig, 2.1 uh, EV per photon. And we know that um, they convert 90% uh, of their chemical energy into light. And so... Um, so this is how in 0.5 EV is the energy per molecule, but they're really only converting 90% of that into light. So then we know that um, the energy of the light is equal to 0.5 times 0 0.9. 0 0.5 times 0.9 is point, oh, I guess I could have done that in my head, 0.45 EV. And so we want to figure out how many of how many of these to create one photon. And I would say that you want to do 2.1 divided by 0.45, which is about five um, molecules or five photons. No, five molecules. Molecules are quantized. So, um, yeah, you need at least five of them to to get this one photon. I think it's kind of interesting to think that five molecules would create one photon. I My guess is, is that's not really what's happening. It's more like a statistical thing that you can sort of make this interpretation. I doubt that five molecules are coming together to create one photon somehow, but I, I don't really.